Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll talk about the mystery of Dafuk Boom's character in the series, also known as the Secret Agent. We keep seeing him more and more as the series goes on, which clearly indicates that he is going to become one of the main characters as the series goes on. And in this video, I'll show you all the secrets and Easter eggs you missed about this mysterious secret agent. Watch the video till the end, so you don't miss anything interesting secrets. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these analysis videos. You can also comment down below which theory video you want to see next. Anyways, here we go. People have speculated that the first time we saw the secret agent was episode 44, but if we zoom in enough, we can clearly see that this silhouette is not the secret agent, but a TV man, because the head looks very squared. And it does make sense, this is an episode where Cinema Man shows up, and until this point, we've never seen the agent up close, so Dafuk most likely wouldn't put anything that people will have no idea how to speculate up on before showing it slightly. In episode 45, Two seconds into the video, we see a human standing inside a house, just standing there in the middle of the battleground. We also see the plunger cameraman outside the house, which made look into it more because when you think about it, almost in every secret agent appearance, the plunger cameraman was there also. Could this mean that the secret agent is keeping an eye on the plunger cameraman? I'll talk about this later in the video as we talk about the other appearances of the secret agent, so make sure to watch until the end to not miss anything. In episode 45, we see Cinema Man fighting with the infected Titan Speakerman, and as they are destroying everything, the secret agent is just standing inside the house without any fear, which is insane for a human because after Skibidi toilets invaded many cities, we stopped seeing any humans in new episodes. The humans most likely died or just moved to other cities, but here he is. The secret agent analyzing and keeping an eye on the battleground. If we were to talk about his powers, we don't know much so far, but we can speculate that he won't be affected by the TV laser beams because of his glasses that we see on episode 47 and from Defuk Boom's profile picture. But other than this, he most likely possesses the ability fly or to teleport anywhere, or he may have a device that he uses to teleport because no human can travel everywhere that fast. And when it comes to pure strength or abilities, he may actually be more powerful than all the Titans and Skibidi toilets because he is always unfazed by them, even though he is a human. Even normal and giant-sized Skibidi toilets were scared of Cinema Man, as we can see on episode 41. This is the reason why I think the secret agent might be more powerful. But the problem is... We still don't know which side he is on, nor what's the reason he shows up in almost every battlefield. But when it comes to which side he is on, we may have gotten a new hint in the latest episode, Skibidi Toilet 52. But we'll talk about that later in the video when we get to episode 52. When we get to episode 46, we can see the secret agent again in the background. And the weird thing about this episode is that he appears before Cinema Man teleports to the location even though they were in the same place a moment ago. This means that the secret agent can teleport faster than Cinema Man, or maybe he is a time traveler appearing everywhere all at once. I'll talk about my theories about who exactly the secret agent is at the end of the video because this is a very interesting topic. Also, we see the secret agent unfazed again in this episode, even though the actual cameraman are being killed and running away scared from the mutant Skibidi toilet. After this, we get to episode 47, which takes place in a destroyed city in the middle of the desert, and it's where the infected Titan Speaker Man is running away, and Cinema Man teleports there yet again. In the Cinema Man Theories video I made that you can watch after watching this video, I mentioned that this place is most likely pretty close to the Skibidi Toilet's headquarters, because the infected Titan Speaker Man is running away, and G-Man Skibidi Toilet shows up trying to stop Cinema Man. Since this place is a destroyed city that was most likely destroyed by the Skibidi Toilets, and we've yet to see a city destroyed to this degree, I'm assuming that this was the first city they destroyed and made their headquarters somewhere close, but that's a topic for another video. In this episode, we see Cinema Man clashing with G-Man Skibidi Toilet, and the infected Titan Speaker Man comes in last minute while Cinema Man was distracted and stabs his face, resulting in Cinema Man running away and having his TV broken. Right after G-Man notices us and shoots his lasers to us, but the video doesn't end, and with our camera being glitched, a new face appears looking into our camera, and this is the first time we see the secret agent up close, we learn that it's 100% Dafuk Boom, the creator of the series. 
and yet again he shows up instantly after Cinnamon teleports. And this must have been a distance no human can travel this fast to. This further confirms my theory about him being able to fly or use some sort of teleportation like Cinema Man. Maybe he has the powers of all the Titans combined, but we don't know that yet. Or as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, he might also be a time traveler coming from the future, maybe thinking about how he could fix everything before the whole world gets destroyed, or maybe he is the bad guy that's behind all this. And that's what we'll be talking about when we get to episode 52, but let's talk about episode 48 first. Yet again, we see the plunger cameraman fighting with the Skibidi toilets, and yet again, we get to see the secret agent in this episode watching the fight closely. In the 16th second of episode 48, when we, the POV cameraman, shoot our laser beam, the screen turn bright, and we can see the secret agent on the right side watching behind the window. Not much happens in this episode, but we can assume that the secret agent has a list of entities he watches over, which I think includes the plunger cameraman and cinema man, or it may be the infected titan speaker man, because these three characters are always there when the secret agent shows up. And in episode 52, he shows up again when we see the plunger cameraman fighting, and as you can see, he is watching the battle from the rooftop. But there is something special about this episode. As you know, we covered that there was a sign that said, your enemy is, and the other words weren't really visible. And this was on a frame where only the newly upgraded Titan cameraman was on screen. So I mentioned that it might be that he might become the enemy, but I wasn't sure if this sign was just a coincidence. So I decided to go to the map that Dafuk Boom mentioned in his description and wanted to check for myself. And just like I guessed on the last video, this wasn't a coincidence, but a carefully put sign that had to be foreshadowing something. In the actual map, it's just a sign that showcases the New York Times and nothing else. There is nothing that mentioned an enemy, but we can clearly see that it's not the case when it comes to the actual video. And if we look at it straight on, the agent is literally right next to the Your Enemy Is sign, which could mean that he is the one behind everything. He could also be the person who leaked the cameraman base. My theory is that he might actually be the bad guy and the real enemy. He might be the one that created the Skibidi toilets. Maybe he is the one who also created the cameraman and the other species. He most likely has some very advanced tech since we already know that he can teleport. He might be the one who created the teleporting tech the Cinema Man has. If this is true, he should be more powerful than every single entity in the series. And later on in the series, the Alliance and the Skibidi Toilets might need to team up to stop the real enemy who might be the secret agent resulting in an epic fight against all of the most powerful Skibidi Toilets, cameramen, speakermen, and TV men going against the secret agent. Maybe if this happens, the secret agent might create another species to make an army to fight against everyone. If you have any other theories, make sure to comment down below, and I might mention them in the coming videos. Also like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and check out our other videos.